an assignment set for Spelling Shed. This is only available on Spelling Shed at the moment. An assignment set means that spelling lists are automatically selected to appear on certain dates for your pupils. So you don't need to worry about setting them every single week. So this is a really handy thing to be able to do at the beginning of a school year. If we go to assignments and then we click create and find the drop down and click assignment set. Now, the difference between a single assignment and an assignment set is that you can only give an assignment set to an entire group. So if this isn't your whole class, you might want to create some subgroups, um, spelling groups if needed, but you can't cherry pick particular pupils. So I'm gonna click the group that I'm gonna give this set to, and you can give it to more than one group there. Then we're gonna choose the stage. So stage equates to year group, and this is gonna select all of the spelling list from our scheme for this stage. So if we go for year three, and here we can see that they all appear as tiles, and then we're gonna click a start date and time. So when we want this to start. So we can go to September, um, and maybe we click for it to start on the fourth. Now we've got spelling mode, where we can have all letters or all graphemes. So it depends on the age of the pupils and what's appropriate to them. You can click enforce spelling modes. So this means that when they play the game, they will only be able to have the option that you have set here. If you untick it, they can switch between letters and graphemes options on the games, although they might not choose to. The other option is also found on the single assignment. So here, if we click limit lists, the pupils will only be able to see on their game screen the assignments that you have set them. They will not have access to other lists from other year groups or some of the bonus games. So if that's appropriate for the children, you can click limit lists. If you'd like them to have some access, you could put games required and type a number. So if they have played five games of a particular list, then the screen will open up for them to be able to see the other lists and the bonus games as well. So it's completely up to you what you choose to do there. Now with the tiles, when you're setting this up, you can come back at a later date to edit them if needed. But if you want to get rid of a list, you can click that X at the top and they'll all shuffle along. You can see that they're all automatically set for seven days. If you'd like to create a break, maybe you want there to be no spelling set for half term, for example, you can click this plus here. Everything else will shuffle along. And if we click no objective, that will turn blank and you can see everything has automatically been shuffled along for seven days. If you wanted to create a, a two week block, you can then click another tile. Other things you can also do here are choose other spelling lists to come up here. So instead, maybe in the half term, you want to give them the stage three and four list of practice you could also do that here. You can also look in your lists and the favorite lists. You can choose lists in there. And again, you've got the same options down there. Once you're happy with that, click save. And I had mine to start in a couple of weeks time in September. So they'll all appear in pending because they're not current at the moment. If you'd like to delete a set, you'll need to go to sets and then click the drop down and then delete. You can also see how people are, well, the students are doing by clicking competency data and see how they are getting on within the word list that you have set. If you want to see how pupils are getting on in an assignment, click details and you'll see 
how pupils are doing, if anyone has played a game yet and the points that they've got. If you want to edit the assignment set, simply click edit here and that will take you back to this screen which we were on before. You can see where we are in the moment and time from the ticks.